Alright guys, so a new type of video from my channel. I get asked all of the time, who should I buy with this amount of coins? Honestly, I've had a pretty good team this entire season, so there's a lot of times where I just don't know the lower cards as far as you know anything under like 100, 200k. Uh, and I would like to help you guys out with, uh, with a video series that will show you exactly who you should target with each set amount of money, uh, leading all the way up to like a million coins. So Today's video, I'm going to start with what you should do the second that you start. Say you're brand new to the game or new to HUT, you have no idea what to do with your coins or where to start. I'm going to show you exactly what to do after you rip that starter pack and start playing your first set of games. I'm No Sleeves 12, and this is how to get a better HUT team. So obviously prices are going to fluctuate, so if you're watching this video a few months later, it's not going to be the exact same value as it is right now. So today is January 23rd, 24th, so let's discuss what the best cards are, or at least the ones that you should attack early. And even if you have been playing Hut for a little while, I think this is probably the basis of which any free-to-play team should be using. So let's begin with the idea behind it. So these are going to be cards that are all under 10,000 coins. These are the ones that you want to try and get. Within the first few games of playing Hut, maybe you've done an hour of offline challenges, it's very easy to get the amount of money required for this set of this lineup set that I'm going to give you guys. It's based around getting yourself BU. So what I've done is I've found the best set of players that will get you BU, and then you can build your roster out from there. Uh, I do need to mention that be at the lower end especially, even at the higher end, I'm someone who does not like putting four or defense on defense this year because... When they nerfed the, brought down the overalls, they really attacked defenseman's shooting. And uh, you can have a forward there that has a much better shot and the same speed. And it just doesn't make any sense to have a defenseman on defense. I totally understand if you don't want to do that. Because prior to this season, I was the exact same way. I hate putting forwards on defense. But if you want to succeed at the game or have a better chance, this is all this video is for. So don't attack me in the comments about putting defensemen on, or forwards on defense. Again, I'm just trying to give you guys the best chance to win. So again, this is going to be the best cards to get you BU under 10k right when you open Open up that starter pack and start playing your first few games so let's dig into the lineup so let's start with your left winger base tyler sagan has very good speed and a very good shot for the lower end cards as well as having bu what i was able to find on the market this is playstation i could get a base sagan for anywhere between 4300 i would not go over 5500 coins so if you can't find one for that just wait a little while eventually someone will sell them these cards aren't really worth anything anymore other than uh set fodder so if you're trying to do the sack kick or you're just trying to do some re-rolls that's where you're going to find a lot of these a lot of these cards so uh i saw him for as cheap as 4300 but if you see him for under 5500 he is your starting left winger again you want to have right-handed players on the left wing so tyler saying would be the first one next up would be st louis blues alumni doug gilmore the 85 doug gilmore the reason why you want him uh he's got very good face-off stat 85 overall even the centers that are base cards early in the game they weren't very good on face off at all 85 is going to be probably your best face-off guy Outside of that, he's got BU and Faceoff Master. If you can get that synergy, it just adds to it. He's got a great shot. He's probably going to have the best shot on your team for a while. It's his speed that's really bad. That's why you need BU to help with cards like this. And center is probably the one position where you can get away with being a little bit slower because um, if you're streaking down the wing, that's with your wingers. And on defense to stop the you know breakaways or chase guys down, that's your defenseman. So uh, center is usually the one that you can get away with being a little bit slower. And he's got a very good shot. So Doug Gilmore would be your centerman. As far as pricing goes, you can get him for uh, the cheapest I found was about 5K. I wouldn't go any more than 6,500. Again, just wait until you find it for in that price range or anything under 5K instantly buy if you are just starting out. Next up would be your starting right winger, base Nikolai Ellers. 90 speed as well as an 80 overall shot makes him very valuable very early in the game as well as having BU. So he's going to be your starting right winger. Now for Ellers, I saw him as low as 2600, which is basically the bare minimum for uh, gold, gold rares. I wouldn't go any more than 3000, so anywhere in that range, pick up your right winger Nikolai Ellers. On to defense, we've got the 83 base Yak of Voracek. 
Again, guys, you want to have your forwards on D just because their shot is so much better than defensemen, especially early in the game. It's crazy. Um, and he's got a pretty hard slap shot. His accuracy is pretty garbage, but uh, that slap shot power isn't anything terrible. So you want to have him on the back end, just start ripping clappers, essentially. Now, for Voracek, you want, again, you can get him as low as 2,600, which is the bare minimum. Uh, I wouldn't go any more than 4,000, though, on him, and uh, he would be your starting right defenseman. And your starting left defenseman would be the base Alex Debrinkat. He's one of the faster players, and again, with an 80 overall shot rating, it's very good early on. You'd be stunned at how low the stat shot or the s shot stats are for the lower cards when you first start the game. But he's at least going to give you someone quick, so you're not going to get burned constantly on the rush. And that's what you're looking for in on defense, as well as someone that's able to actually hit a slap shot from the point. So the base to bring cat would be what I would recommend. Uh, 2,800. You could probably find him from the bare minimum, uh, and no more than 4,000 for to bring cat. Moving on to goaltender, the one I would recommend, again, got to have BU because I'm trying to give you guys a, a set of players that will get you BU and then you can work out from there. Having both goaltenders have BU is extremely valuable, obviously. So your starter would be Team of the Week Gibson. Guy is an absolute unit. So you, he's a very big goaltender. At 83 overall, it's not terrible again at this stage in the game anything under 90 is basically can be listed as bad but if you're just starting out this is a very fine goaltender to use i would go uh, i saw him as low as 6100 i wouldn't pay anything more than 8000 i would just wait until again he's uh under that 8000 mark and then finally, your backup goaltender. This is going to just be a guy that doesn't really matter at all. He's not starting, so you want to just base it on synergies. Uh, as long as he's got BU, it's fine. I wouldn't spend any more than 500 coins on him. This David Hanzik card has BU, uh, the beauty, and for the boys, which are three great team synergies. So if you could get him for under 500k, that's a perfect backup goalie because, again, uh, it just matters about synergies, nothing about the actual player. And then lastly, guys, you want to make sure that you get the BU coach. I saw him from anywhere between 500 coins and 800. Once you get him and my lineup that I just gave you there, you now have BU activated and can start filling out the rest of your roster. So after all is said and done, if you get these players for around the minimum of what I'd listed, and again, these weren't some crazy deals. There were a lot as around that low point on each one. You're spending about 25,000 coins. That could take no time at all with a few games, one Division 10 run, as well as doing some offline challenges. And you're going to have this base lineup and burner activated very, very early, as well as you're not going to overspend or waste any of your coins on players that you don't know or aren't sure about, guys. So I hope this helps. Again, this is for players that are just starting out uh, in hut, obviously, this season. And I'm going to keep going uh, the further and further down as far as what cards to look for in what value range. And I think that's going to provide a lot of value for you guys so that you aren't uh, kind of lost and wasting your money on stuff that uh, you know you might be able to have save your hard-earned coins uh, for something else so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did like leave a comment if you want to see something else in regards to this or in my next video uh, and as well thank you for all the subscriptions and whatnot you guys have a great day